I'm Alexandra and welcome to my new channel. So the past couple of months, um, my TikTok has been growing a lot and as that growth happened, I've been getting a lot of comments asking if I have a YouTube channel or if I could do tutorials on what I sell. So I decided to make one and this is kind of like my trial run. So for my first video, I decided to film the making of my new Anastasia dress, which I've been kind of doing small videos on on my TikTok account. Please bear with me because this is my first time filming sewing and so I forgot to take a lot of clips and I kind of started doing a lot of videos at the beginning and then towards the end I forgot to take some videos of my work so I'll be putting some TikTok clips in along with other clips I've taken throughout the process but I really wanted to share it with you guys so let's get into it. So the dress itself is made up of three or four different components. We have the skirt, which is a two layer skirt with satin and then organza over it. And then we have the bodice and then a belt and a detachable bow. Um, I filmed each part separately on my TikTok account, but I also did take some clips as I said, so I'll be putting them in the video. You know what? Why don't I go get the dress? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get it. Okay. So I have the dress, I'll just sit it right here and I'll just kind of show you it as I talk about it. And I'm gonna start with the skirt, I think. So here we have the skirt, I don't know if you can see it. We have two layers, we have an organza on the top and then the bottom is just a light yellow satin. In this clip, I'm working on the two skirts. The bottom satin skirt is a half circle skirt that is gathered and the top is a full gathered skirt. If you don't know how to make a circle or half circle skirt, there's a lot of, oh, that's my cat walking by. Anyway, there's a lot of tutorials online if you're interested in learning how to make it, but essentially they're just, as you can imagine, a circle out of the fabric. And that just gives you a very nice full skirt with not a lot of bulk at the waistline. Like I said, I did make these gathered, so I doubled my waist measurement and then I gathered it to fit my waist so that it was even more full because I really wanted to replicate the effect that the dress in the movie has. And here's the finished skirt. I had a lot of fun twirling in it. It's closed by hook and eyes, by the way. Now, I accidentally didn't film any of the making of the bodice other than what I did on my TikTok just because it's my first time doing a YouTube video and I just keep forgetting to do it. But basically, you just take the bodice and the bodice lining and you just put them together. I mean, I know that's a bad explanation, but I use something called the burrito method. So you just sew around the neckline, sew around the armholes, and then turn it inside out. And then it gets this nice finished line up here. And then I also top stitched it just because I didn't want this light lining, white lining peeking out. Um, well, that was it for the bodice. It was really easy. Um, and if you want to replicate it, yeah, I would just look up the burrito method and then just type in like lining or something like that. I did actually film a time lapse of me draping the bodice. It's a very easy technique that you can learn over time. I'm still not the best at it. I'm still learning too. But this is how I get all of my patterns, which I'm asked a lot about. Here's what my pattern ended up looking like. This is the small part of the process that I filmed for TikTok. It isn't very in-depth, but if you'd like to see it, here it is. And here's the finished product. Next part of the dress that I worked on was this sash right here. Um, I'm going to take it off just so that you can see it up close. Here's the back of the dress, by the way. I ended up doing a lace-up back with my favorite grommets that have this floral shape to them. So here is the sash that I made. It's just a blue satin with a lace overlay. It's just really just a tube that I ironed down and then I added hook and eyes so that it closes like this. So we just have the waistband sash like that. And then I added two hook and eyes right here. 
and on the bow so that you can just attach it like so. And that's how the bow stays on. That took some thinking because I've never made a bow or sash before. It was fairly simple though. My neighbor is outside. I don't want to do it awkward. Okay. And I'm very proud of this bow. Um, I didn't know how I wanted to do it. And if I made it in the future, I'd probably do it differently. I don't like this. I don't like how this tube lays, but I just made a tube of fabric with the satin and the lace. Um, and then I scrunched it together with this holder. And then for the bow part or the, these things, it's just lace because I didn't want to mess with the satin because I really wanted it to have that airy feel where it just flows around. And I felt like if it was made out of the satin on this part too, it would just weigh it down. So I just made it out of this lace, which is from Joann's and I really like it. It's super soft. And then I just sewed those down, added the hooks and it just claps onto the bow. So generally in sewing, I'm just the type of person that wings it. I don't use patterns, I just drape my own. I just kind of go for it and assume that it will all work out in the end, and usually it does. So what, where I'm going with that is that these sleeves, I really didn't do anything. No pattern, I just cut them. They're just a big trapezoid made out of the same type of material that the skirt and top of the bodice is. This really shiny, shimmery organza tool, just in white. Um, and it gives that very transparent, flowy feel that the movie has, which I really like. And I think I replicated it to the best of my abilities. So yeah, it's just a big trapezoid attached to the armhole. Nothing special, no gathers, just fit in there perfectly. Here's my TikTok of making the sleeves. I just draped it to fit perfectly and then I finished the sleeves off with a zigzag stitch because I didn't get a surgery yet and I think they turned out very cute. And here is the finished product. I'm incredibly proud of how it turned out and it's exactly how I wanted it to be. Everything from the fabric selection to the way I made it is how I envisioned the process to be and it's my best replication possible of what the movie is and I just, I couldn't be happier. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know that it isn't the best video out there, but it's my first time and I'm trying to learn. And I haven't really talked in front of a camera like this before, so please bear with me. I promise it will get better. My goal for this year is to make tutorials of all the things I sew and post them here just for reference or if anybody wants to know how I made it. And just to document what I do because I think it's important to be able to look back when you're older and see the things you accomplished when you were young. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more creations. If you want to see more of this dress, I'll probably be posting some photo shoot videos and behind the scenes. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. Thank you.